Hello and welcome. We are learning Oracle TDE, which is Transparent Data Encryption. In this demo, I will show you what is the importance of TDE and why TDE is important, right? So guys, I told you that TDE is required to encrypt the data at rest. In this demo, I will show you that if you don't encrypt your data, then you can very easily have a look at the data which is residing inside your database or your database files. So I believe a lot of uh, DBAs when I speak to them, they tell me that, hey, you can't really see the data because it's a binary file or a database file is a binary file, so you can't see the data. But there are ways in which you can run commands like strings on the database file and you can still see the data. So that's very important. So let's take a look how uh, we can achieve this. So in our um, XE database or XEPDB1, we shall be working on this one. So if I go to XE database and do ultra session set container equals XEPDB1. Right. What we will do is we'll simply create a new table space inside the database. So we are creating a table space called users tab and uh, we are giving uh, it the data file name and we'll just create it as a, a, a simple data file, All right? Now, what, I'll, what we will do after that is we'll try and install a sample schema, right? So there is a file or there is a SQL, which is hr.main.sql. What it will do is it will help you to actually um, uh, create the schema, which is HR schema and load uh, data related to that. So let's do that. So your table space has been created and we are inside the PDB. So if you do a select name from V dollar table space, name from V dollar data file probably then we can see that a uh, users tab has been created. And then what we can do is we can run this uh, command or we can install the sample HR schema. So I just run this. It asks for the password for HR. So I'll just say Oracle one, two, three, four, hash, hash. It asks for the use default table space for HR. So in this case, uh, let me give users tab asks for the temporary table space, I'll give temp, and ask for the lo log file, I'll say slash TMP. And it starts creating the database and uh, populating it. So I'll just do a select connect SSDBA, I'll just do older system switch log file. Probably I'll also do older system checkpoint. Right, so now if I uh, go to the HR's auto session set container equals XEPDB1, and I do H select star from HR dot Lois. So you can see that uh, I am actually able to uh, see the data which has been loaded. Now let's try and look if we are able to find something directly from the data files. So you are no longer connected to the database, but you still want to see the data. So let's let's try something like file, and uh, we try and see the type of file. So it clearly shows that it is a database file, right? So if we do a cat or more on these files, then everything is binary. But if I do a strings, on this file, so guys, what do you say now? So I've done a strings on this file, on this database file, and you can see that I'm actually able to see all the data which is actually there. So now just imagine if these had been the credit card numbers, social security numbers, the most important uh, financial data or your personal data. So any hacker can easily go 
and grab your data files or from your storage, grab the files and just have a look at all this data. So guys, that's why TDE is so important that you need to encrypt your data at rest. So that once we have applied encryption on the database files, or once we have applied encryption on the database, any hacker who, who would have gained access to this database file and would have performed the strings would have just got some, some random characters rather than the actual names and all the details about the employee. So that's why guys, and in, in the subsequent videos, you'll see that we will actually encrypt our data and then we will check and see that the same strings command will give you encrypted information. Thanks for watching.